<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Homeboy getting the Allen Iverson cornrows on that beard. Alright. Okay, okay. Man, we gonna talk about this one family. <laughs> So there is a video that was posted on the Shady Room, which is an Instagram page. And um, the only reason I really knew about this particular post was, was because everyone and their damn mother was sending it to the bearded Hefner. Um, the ladies that were sending me this were always um, accompanying it with, yo, you better not do this with your beard. Yo, yo, don't you ever braid your beard. And you know what? My gut reaction was probably what everyone else's gut reaction was to kind of clown the brother and everything like that. But hold tight, we gonna do a little devil's advocate in this video. And hopefully by the end of this video, you gonna have a different take and be like, you know what? I'm not even mad at the braided beard. Stay tuned. Now, I'm generally not one to judge what another grown ass man is doing with their look. And the main reason that is, is because I'm always on the receiving end of the exact same thing. Yo, you got too much beard. Yo, what's up with that hair? Cut your beard, cut your hair, do this, do that, blah, 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 blah. Now, just because you don't see yourself rocking a particular style uh you probably don't think a particular style looks good or maybe you just don't think it's traditional you gotta chill out and let people rock out and do what they do so that's why in particular i'm not gonna drag this brother for braiding his beard i'm just gonna respect the fact that he tried something new and is sharing it with the world you feel me now, if you're asking me personally, I could probably never get my actual cheeks braided. And the main reason that is, is because I have very, very sensitive skin. So, um, like, if you look at the, the brother who did get his beard braided, you can see that the skin uh, right where it got braided is, is inflamed and it's red and everything like that. And I can only imagine how that thing felt while getting braided right after and probably the day after as well and one more thing about that now i'm no braid expert i only had braids like once in my life which was of course on top of my head um so you braid experts if you are watching just correct me in the comments i thought the whole premise behind braids is you can't really get them wet right so if you get your beard braided like right around the cheeks and stuff like that not get my mic so how do you wash your face on a daily basis you feel me like wouldn't that like undo the braids like very quickly if you're if you're getting it wet like every day or whatever so correct me if i'm wrong about that in the comments um if braids can get wet the one time i did get braids uh, for my hair um which, which is why i probably <laughs> don't do braids like that anymore is because you know it's just weird not not being able to uh wash your hair and and get your hair wet for for like three four weeks at a time and whatnot so um that's another reason why i will not or i don't really see myself braiding my beard now what i do want to do is show you guys an example of a brother who does have a braided beard and i fucks with it and that's probably the kind of style if i ever was to braid my beard i would do it like this so there's a cat on ig that i follow he actually follows me too I'm going to throw his picture up. Uh, you should be able to see it. And he's just like me. He's a content creator. He bearded, long bearded, uh, personal trainer, whatever the case may be. And um, he actually braids the bottom of his beard. And it, I, I think it looks fire. And so um, that's the one that's that's one of those instances where I think, OK, if you have enough beard and you're going to braid it, I would probably rock it like this. So as you guys can see, looking at me right now, I actually started tying the ends of my beard. Contrary to popular belief, it's not for style, it's actually for a functional reason. So what will happen is I would do my whole beard routine. You know what I'm saying? From the leave-in conditioner to the balm, the butter, the beard oil, 
shape it up perfectly the beard oil glistening everything is just looking perfect and i would step outside god forbid it's a it's a windy day here in the summer and two big gushes of wind and everything goes to shit <laughs> so literally i've had that happen more times than i like to uh admit uh where i would be walking outside the house and then i would look like i literally just rolled out of bed within minutes because the wind just kind of just blew everything to hell so the functional reason why i do tie my beard at the ends now is just so it's, it's, it maintains a more uh, kept um, and neat appearance throughout my day. So without even asking the brother, and I probably could ask him, but without even asking him, I could venture to guess it's a similar reason why he has the bottom of his beard braided as well, just to, to take care of the, the maintenance on it and um, just to go about your day, especially if you're uh, like me, we're doing personal training, you just wanted to uh, kind of keep it shaped throughout the day while you're you know moving around and you might go inside outside have various fans blowing all over the place and then you just don't want your stuff blowing all over the place so let's go back to the original brother from the shade room instagram post um closing comments it may not be for you i explained why it might not be for me but at the end of the day it was for him he spent his money to have the sister braid his stuff. He thinks it's fly. He shared it with the gram and the internet. Let the brother be. You know what I'm saying? Um, if if you don't think it's cool, if you if you think it's a shame in the bearded community or whatever, all right, you're you're entitled to your opinion. But at the end of the day, try to back off of judging another grown ass man's look and his swag. So fellas, guys, ladies, if y'all watching. Uh, do me a favor this is gonna be fun drop me a comment in the comment section below of the most out of the box out of the world thing that you've personally seen somebody do with their beard their hair whatever the case may be all right um, the funniest or the most over-the-top comment that I see about this I will pin it to the top as the champion all right so until next time, guys, be easy. <laughs> Peace out.